Finally, the last example is a bit more difficult, but in fact, we can simply apply the cross method in the same way. And it happens that the only difference is the last term is not the constant term, it's the plus 12 n squared. And we have to make up the middle term minus 7 times mn. And therefore, we have the first three pairs of numbers n times 12m, 2n times 6n, 3n times 4n. Because we have a plus sign here, so in the first place, we think of only the positive terms. But look at that, yeah, we have the minus 7 in the middle term. So only the factors with the minus sign is able to make up the middle term of minus 7mn. And therefore, we simply sum up the factors and see which can come up with minus 7. And uh, the first two pairs is not possible. Only the last pair is possible. And therefore, we can now write, write the factors in a vertical format. m minus 3n and m minus 4n and cross multiply. We have minus 4mn minus 3mn and we have minus 7mn. And so the answer will be m times 3n, uh, sorry, m minus 3n, sorry. Multiply by m minus 4n. And in fact, we can go a little bit further. What if we change the sign of the middle term? The expression becomes m square my, uh, plus 7mn plus 12n square. Can we factorize this expression? And since the, only the middle term is involved, we have plus 7mn and uh, this change is rather obvious. We can simply change the minus 3n, minus 4n to plus 3n, plus 4n, and we can easily come up with plus 7mn. And therefore the answer will be m plus 3n times m plus 4n. And we can in fact make a little bit further. What if we change the sign of the last term? m squared plus 7mn minus 12n squared. Can we factorize this expression? And I suggest you can just think for yourself. Try, try to find whether we can find two factors. We can make up the expression m squared plus 7mn minus 12n squared. And if this is not possible, Ask yourself why.